Hi, this is Gwen Foster. I want to talk about pH and why it's important to your health. pH strips um, have been around a long time. You can get them at drugstores. I really like the Nature Sunshine pH strips because they're individual strips instead of that crazy litmus paper. And they have a nice little chart here on the side that after you urinate on the strip, or you can dip it in water. Uh, actually, will you hand me your water? We're going to test some water. Live demonstration today. So. Um, if you urinate on the strip, you want to do it in the morning before you eat or drink. So you want to do it on like what your overnight um, and urine is doing compared to yesterday. So if you do it first thing in the morning before you eat and drink, because as soon as you have coffee or as soon as you have breakfast, eggs are acidic, coffee is acidic, most water is acidic. And so you want to do it before you eat or drink anything. And then after you pee on the strip, you want to compare it to the color code and you want to be between 6.5 and 7 or above. So if your 6.8 is ideal, 7.0 is ideal. But if you're down here in the yellow and lime green, you're way too acidic. And a lot of people think that this is close. Like if you're, the lime green is 5.5, you want to be 7.0. But if your pH is 5.5 which is the first level above yellow you're 150 times more acidic than 7.0 because the pH scale is like the Richter scale it's exponential 0.1 to 0.2 is 10 times more acidic so it's not a small scale so there's a lot of work to do if your urine pH is 5.5 or 5.0 and most Americans are in that range so also the water we drink is important most this is Planet Fitness water, so we're just gonna see. I'm not trying to actually dog any water because honestly, most water is acidic. Um, I've been buying water from HEB lately. They're alkaline water and I tested it with pH strips. I've always loved Fiji water and Penta water. Fiji's kind of expensive and the uh, HEB alkaline water tests really well. Okay, so this isn't terrible. I've seen worse, but this is somewhere between 5.5 and 6.0. You can see the color, it's somewhere in between those two. So let's just say it's 5.8. So it's 120 times more acidic than what you should put in your body. And if I had another bottle handy, which I do not, um, we can you know, test multiple waters. Some of the waters that test acidic are Deja Blue, Dasani, Ozarka. These are common waters in Houston that you can buy at the grocery store. Uh, waters that test good are Penta, uh, like I said, Fiji, Mountain Valley spring water, and the waters sold in the store that say alkaline. Um, I've tested other waters, and um, most of them are acidic. I've even tested waters that say they're alkaline at the grocery store. They are not alkaline. So you should test your water and not trust the label. I don't know what that is going on if they say they're alkaline and they're not, but I've tested it and found out that they're not. I don't want to say any names of those brands because I, I'll say who I think it was. I think it was Smart Water. But then I can't remember if they actually advertise that they're alkaline or if it's just that they have stuff added. Not sure. But anyway, there's 100 strips in this little container, so it lasts a long time. I recommend that people put this by their bathroom toilet and test their urine pH in the morning. If it's too acidic, then you have some work to do. And some of the things that you can do is eat more fruits and vegetables, not counting potatoes. And you can also drink alkaline water and also reduce the things that are acidic. Like coffee is very acidic. Alcohol is very acidic. Sugar and carbs are very acidic. So change it up a little bit. Have more vegetables and less bread and less carbs, less starchy carbs. So pH is super important though because of the terrain and because of things growing in the body. Parasites love an acidic terrain. Cancer loves an acidic terrain. So these are things that you can monitor, you can do at home and take control of your own health. Okay, I hope you like this video. Like and subscribe. Thank you.